What's up guys, today I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be using Double Fiona's in PvP. I will show you the team right here. It is, uh, we also got two Void Heroes, but here we have a uh, two Fiona team. Uh, the second Fiona here is not max level. Uh, I don't even think this one has a max stone, but, you know, full sun buddies. I just want to kind of see how the Double Fiona works, because I've seen a lot of people run Double Fiona. Uh, as you can see here, she's got terrible you kit equipment it's it's garbage let's actually see if we can get her uh, some better stuff uh priest gear attack attack oh my gosh <laughs> attack attack with a punisher that's amazing it's like it's not a good build but it's like funny let's see what else artifacts this man's got splendid amb glittery db uh glittery candy he's got another punisher so that can make splendid Next week we'll try out Splendid Punisher, I'm guessing. Also, uh, he is saving up here. He does have 2 million COT. I don't know if he's going to spend any money, but I'm hoping, I'm guessing he'll probably make a Void Asthma instead of a Jar, to be honest. I'd honestly make a Void Asthma over Void Jar on this account because, as you can see here, he's got the skin. And Splendid Punisher, he has Splendid Punisher. He's already got a Glittery Demon Bell. He could, he could Splendid Punisher. Toss that on Asthma, like, it's gonna be lit. So I'm guessing he'll make Asthma, to be honest. I don't know what he's got for Jara. Yeah, he's probably definitely gonna make Asthma. But, uh, I'm sure he will. But, uh, let's see here. So, we do have the Double Fiona. Uh, we already tossed it in. Like I said, the setup is not optimal. We did get his, uh, second Void Hero here. Uh, V4, so that is looking nice. Let's, uh, kind of see what they have for the Purple Nodes. Crit, crit damage, damage reduction looks fine to me. Crit, crit damage, oh, damage reduction, crit damage, okay. All good, all good. Uh, we're going to be running a carry with a attack HP because we don't want speed on her. Because if we do put speed attack, she'll be a lower health than Sherlock and a SFX won't attack Sherlock or any assassin. So we're going to be running Snowheart, all speed, attack HP. She's not super speedy, but she's looking fine. We do have a Rogue in here that's V1, but we are not going to be using him. So whatever. Fiona. Already showed you her setup. She looks pretty good. Sherlock, Magic Source, Attack, Attack, Stone. Get that swap off. Uh, res Gear, Speed, normal setup. Uh, we have another Ticks here. Speed Attack, Snow Heart, Legendary Skin, V0 Max. Another Ticks we're not going to be using. And the Fiona we are going to be using. So yeah, let's go test this out. Uh, let's see. We do have... 10 million, 10.7 million might with the actual team he uses, I think is this, is 11 million, but we'll be using this. So yeah, let's go try it out here. Also, if we collect this, ooh, super close level 200, that's pretty lit. First 200 on the server. But uh, let's uh, start off by attacking this guy. His team here is not amazing, but it, whatever we're just kind of testing stuff anyway so sfx carry sherlock i mean not sherlock fiona fiona boom monster what is he doing with his monsters max one at a time buddy but uh let's uh let's try that out let's uh see how this does i have not yet tried this setup i just was like let's do this for a video because let's be honest double fiona and pvp is kind of lit i'd honestly want to see that like you know, for a video, Double Fiona is uh, definitely pretty cool. So let's see how this works out. As you can see, Carrie did do a lot of damage there. Double Fiona shields round two here. Oh. It's kind of weird how Fiona works. I'm not uh, too good with her, but her shields, though, when she, they get that active, is insane. Oh, wow. Zero damage, zero damage. They're kind of low, though, to be honest. They didn't really do that much that fight, but they're both, like, not optimized whatsoever. Let's fight a harder team, like mine here, which I will actually get uh, Starwing Jara soon, which I'll probably take out one of these Tixes for. But uh, let's fight my team, because it is a little bit harder. Let's see the difference here. So as you can see, uh, wait, what? Oh, I was wondering why, uh, why I went first with uh, double Fiona's, then my account here on the right went second. It's because I'm running Holy Damage Attack Attack on SFX, both Tixes, and both Tixes because I was doing the Void. So we do get uh, Outsped 
on my account here on the right, which is the account we're fighting, is actually slower than the one on the left, which I'm surprised is just because of the stones. But normally, my VAP6 here on the right would win in speed. If we were actually faster, if we had the right setup on, we might have had a chance of winning that. That's kind of bad. I don't really feel like changing that, though. So let's fight someone else. Ah, uh, that team's not good. Not good. This is actually decent. Server 842. Same level, too, so it's like a fair matchup. I don't know how he doesn't have a void hero yet. Like, I don't think anybody... If you had an E5 when the void up update came out about 8 months ago or longer, it was about 8 months ago. Or 9 months ago now. Yeah, it's like 9 months ago now. Everyone should have a void hero, even if you're free to play. If you've been doing the void every day, you should easily have it, even if you're opt not optimizing it. As you can see here, the one team on the right is actually not doing pretty bad. It's actually doing pretty good, I'm surprised. But those double Fiona's are pretty good. We do win it easily, but did a little bit of damage there with the Russell. I don't know, I like double Fiona's, but I don't know, these double Fiona's aren't doing too much. I feel like that's just because they're like really weak here. I'm trying to find someone who's actually good. Ooh. Has little, ooh, he's got 9.2 million might. He's only level 182. I wonder if he's free to play. He might be. But uh, let's see here. So, but as you can see with these double Fiona shields, we're getting pings. And then boom. Scarlet Queen of Lore did her active carry. I mean, all the shields went away, but the, usually Scarlet Queen of Lore would like take almost all their health. And we're almost still full health on both Fiona just because of their shields. Carrie does get the active. She does it drain the Scarlet Queen of Laura. Russell will still get the active since he already had energy. Sfax gets her active. Our Scarlet Queen of Laura goes. Nobody on our teams dies. Fiona finishes off. Yeah, we kind of wrecked that team there. We just kind of outsped him. Uh, oh, here's actually a good team. I've actually fought this team on VAP6 and I lose like every time. So here's actually a really good team to fight. But, uh,. This is a free-to-play account, but it's like an older free-to-play account, so it's got good artifacts, a well-built team, a good amount of stellar too, so let's uh, see how we do here. It does look like we're losing here, but let's be honest, it's we're on a VAP11 account with the Splendid A and B V4 SFX. SFX will win by yourself, to be honest. You don't even, you could literally put SFX in by yourself and would win. That's how overpowered she is. <laughs> it's like, you don't, you don't, with SFX against a type of team like this with not as good artifacts, you're you're gonna lose every time. As you can see here we do have the healing curse, but I don't think we're gonna take that much damage. We will see though. Oh, huh, we actually lost. Okay, so that is what we will try one more time here. And then if we lose one more time we will toss in the actual team we use with ticks and we'll probably win to be honest. But, um, uh, like I said, this team is actually a pretty good challenge. So, um, uh, it does have a lot less might, but might doesn't really matter, it's really... It, yeah, might doesn't really matter, to be honest. Just, uh, about luck, artifacts, RNG, you know, well, RNG and luck's really the same thing. Stellar, artifacts, heroes. But, uh, it does look like we will win this one. I'm guessing maybe we won't. Wow, maybe we don't. Hm. I actually thought we were going to win that one. I'm surprised. But uh, after this one here, we will toss in our actual team. Let's scroll back down real quick. And we will put in, boom, ticks. And we're probably going to win this now. It should be pretty easy now. It's really just... Double Fiona, it's good and everything, but like even this Fiona here that's level 350, she doesn't have a max stone. Once we do get her a max stone, she will be amazing. But as you can see, Tix just does so much more than a second Fiona for now. But once we do get the second Fiona max, she might he might be a or she might be better than the uh, Tix here. Uh, we might actually lose this too, to be honest. Wow. Those Amon Ra shields are annoying. Ah, uh, now we're gonna win. Sfex does carry here. Sfex for the clutch. 
Yeah, as you can see, Tix does help out a lot right there. 93 million damage. That's some big numbers. It's insane how much Tix does. Actually, if you see here, if we do take out uh, another Fiona, this Tix is not max here. So we will give him... Uh, do we have another resonance set? We do not have another resonance set. Sherlock, you're going to have to go bye-bye, buddy. Just for a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, this whole time there's been a resonance set on a uh, Sherlock, but it's still put as ticks. So Sherlock hasn't been getting the extra benefits. Huh? It's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I guess Fluffy totally forgot about that. But we're gonna toss a magic source on here. He's a uh, he's decently speedy. 1803 speed. A little bit under this ticks. But let's see how this works. Double ticks. I do love double ticks in PvP. It is a very fun team. So let's see how we do. We also are missing some stellar. The ticks is V0. If we did have him V1, it'd be a lot better. To be honest, he does have that V1 Rogan. I might actually take the imprints off the Rogan and put it like on the uh, ticks. Because like a V1 ticks is way better than a V1 Rogan that you're not using. The V1 ticks would get more speed too from the B V1 buff, so I might actually do that here after this battle. And as you can see here, ticks is just go crazy, bro. It's insane how much they do. But let's uh, take imprints off you. We don't need you for now. Thank ya. And then now, we give ticks this. We do have a demon hunter now too. This is uh, I don't know if he cares if I feed it. But, uh, I'll put 10. Yeah, we'll leave it how it is. And then we'll toss some stuff on ticks here. Quick upgrade. Quick upgrade. Last one. Quick upgrade. And then, what imprints does he have on everyone else? V0, V0. Okay, we will toss imprints on people just because of the uh, really IDA and Guild Wars. Uh, he doesn't have anything yet. I guess that is kind of a waste. So we will leave it like that for now. I do not know if he wants me to feed Demon Hunter. He might use it for E3 Ignis. But, I mean, you can always reset imprints. So I don't think it really actually matters that much. And we would have cleared all the sill lands, so. Might just go ahead and make the... Yeah, let's actually just do that. Let's go ahead and make the Sticks V1 here. And let's, uh... Let's actually try it out. You... You don't need your imprints for now. And let's see how a double ticks team does. You can get max. Basically max. And you... I'll leave you how you are. Well, let's uh, try this team now. He does not have a skin, sadly. But, uh... This is a pretty big power buff. I mean, they're both V1, so they do get that extra speed. And they both have max resonance gear, max stone. So let's see how this team does compared to the Sherlock. And now we do have a uh, 2v1, 2v4 team, so. Ooh, those pings are brutal. Another ticks active. Nice, I'm guessing he doesn't have resonance gear. Oh wow, we energy drain the ticks too with the carry. Only SFX is left, but that end of round damage from the Revenging Wraith does finish off. Fiona does kill the other Fiona. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Oh wow. Wow, wow, wow. Those ticks is both doing over 50 million. SFX only doing 32 million. That's insane. I know how this went from having a double Fiona to Tixes, but let's be honest, two Tixes is pretty dope too. So let's actually toss the... Uh, boom, boom. This is his new CCL and his new FTA team. Because, I don't know, this is sick, and it's going to be like this because it works really good. So yeah. Boom, new team. But uh, let's try warmer battle here against someone like really good. So this team does have 11 million might too. We have basically the same exact might. The only difference is he has one more void hero and he has about the same artifacts. I think he's got radiant AB and effects. He will get splendid next Orma. So I think he's got a glittery DB on Scarlet Queen Alar. So it's about the same. But uh, the team on the right does have less stellar by about a million. 
just because of uh, some other stuff. But So we might win, but we'll see. This two ticks is brutal. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was insane. Let's try that one more time. I thought that would be a lot harder of a challenge here. RS Vex does go first. I'm actually surprised. Why does RS Vex go first? His should go first. His is V. Uh, he has the max speed now with Radiant A and B and Rogan. I don't see why we would go first. That's weird. Does look like an R Scarlet Queen of Lore does outspeed her too. Uh, maybe I'll have to hop on a guy's account later, but I'm surprised that uh, we're actually uh, beating him. <laughs> Let's actually check our statues real quick. Okay, we do have attack, HP, 42, Put that up to 48, 44, so that's basically 80, so it actually does help out. So let's try one more fight here. Let's fight someone, like, strongest on the list here. Who's the strongest person he has? He doesn't have that much strong people on here. Uh, who is the strongest person on here? Oh, wow. Everyone in here is, like, super weak. Okay, well... That team is pretty good. Let's actually fight this team. 8.8 .8 million might do Void Heroes. Same Void Heroes, just 8.8 .8 million might. Okay, his SFX does go first, but I'm guessing, you know, she would. I mean, it's got the double Rogan, so. Uh, let's actually see how this works, though, because we have a lot more Stellar, and I'm sure we have better artifacts, too. So I'm guessing we will win, but his SFX does outspeed us, so that might be... We might lose because of that. I don't know. It's actually nice with Fiona's because it actually makes the uh, rounds last longer. So it makes it like as as you see there, Asphex did outspeed his there at the end because Asphex is a. Uh, I mean the Rogan buffs right now. So let's fight one more guy in our guild that's actually pretty good. So he's got 10 million might here, Mitch with two Void Heroes. Let's see if we win. And yeah, that should be the end of this video. I just wanted. Oh, okay, he outspeeds us too. I'm guessing it's because of the Rogan. Let's see these big, uh, two big uh, ticks actives. I'll leave an X1 speed. Okay, X1. Boom. Okay, get those pings off. Another big ticks active. Boom. Carry active. Dude, those three actives back to back are insane. SFX active. Scarlet Queen Halora goes off. We do go first there, but we have a splendid A and B, so we take like no damage. Pretty crazy. Okay, we go again. SFX does do that. Go back again. That splendid A and B makes us take like no damage. Especially being V4 also. Wow. So we do win. Pretty nice. But yeah, guys, I think that's it for this video. I don't want to drag this video out over the 20 minute mark. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And are we at level 200 yet? Uh, now we need some more to go. Also, I love this avatar. This avatar looks dope. Not gonna lie. So if you have this, definitely use it. Looks sick. But yeah, guys, uh, that is, I guess, the new setup now. Two ticks, I like it, I like it so we're going to be using it. But yeah, hopefully you liked the video. Double Fiona's pretty cool. Uh, once we get there, both maxed out, level 350 with like S3 stones, definitely come back and test it again. But yeah, guys, that's it for this video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helped me out a lot. Also, if you want, go join the Discord. Link in the description and in the comment section. Yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.